Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to some more Black Clover content on the channel. Today's video, we're going to play some more Grimoire's Era. We're finally going to go ahead and master our pay-to-win sword that we bought with like 800 Robux and our magic in this video. So it should be a pretty cool video. You guys continue to blow this game up. I think this game peaked like at around like 12,000 players today. It was like pretty crazy. I'm not going to lie to you. So hopefully you guys have been enjoying this video in particular. Be sure to support it by dropping a like. We're going to show some love to your boy. And of course, if you guys are new around here, consider subscribing. Stay tuned for some more awesome content. So I got five spins, guys. I'm going to try my luck and i'm gonna spin off of my race because i've been a dwarf this entire series and dwarfs are really small and you only get five walk speed so it's like whatever right uh let's see what we get come on let me get okay uh no no let me get an elf no no no. let me get an elf or 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 devil let me get an elf or devil. no no no, no. i i think you're getting something confused here i said let me get an elf or, a devil or else i'm i'm never all right whatever i, I got some stuff but <laughs> Okay, so we're back in here. Let me go ahead and equip my uh my stuff. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Listen, man, I was uh I was really not gonna upload today. So you guys are pretty lucky. You guys have seen the video. I ain't gonna hold you. Not gonna hold you, kid. All right, so it is what it is. So all right, here we go. Right, we need 500 stat points to get our max sword. We currently have 459. So this is gonna be super super easy um and super chill this video. And I'm excited to find out what my max magic is going to look like because i do have the dark magic which is yami uh yami sans magic <laughs> so if you guys haven't seen my abilities in the previous videos that's my first ability with the sword and then my second ability is with a thousand mana that's the only thing that's gonna be annoying by the way guys like i know i'm gonna be able to like oh that boy thought so yeah i know i'm gonna be able to max out um everything as far as like my magic and my sword this video but I also would have to um, get my stat points for mana up because I'm pretty sure my max ability with the Imperial Sword is not going to be enough. So I need to get my mana up as well. And uh, it's pretty tough to level up mana because even every level that you get only gets you, I think, like 50, 60 mana or so. Or because you got like six stat points to level, right? Something like that. So, but, uh, but yeah, the grind continues. We're just going to do our daily... Um, well, not really daily because I just started doing this yesterday. But <laughs> at this point, I guess it would be daily. But, you know, our usual routine, going from boss to boss and uh, doing our things. But that's a daz, as they say. Now, what's really going to be beautiful is when we get to level 200 and we can do a third boss in our rotation here. Because that would mean multiple levels. Uh, I mean, as it is right now, it's, it's good amount of levels. But we want more, baby. We want more money, more levels, more power, and... What the hell? Okay. You only gained one level there, but. All right. Let's spend some bow bucks. There you go. What the hell? Wait a minute. It didn't, it, it didn't charge me. It failed. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, you know why? Uh, I, I really didn't get that much XP. What is this? Okay. So I need to buy an hour of double XP. Um, and I need to buy an hour of double yen. So for some reason, um, my double XP and double yen ran out. Now, I will say, like, they're kind of stingy on this game with the codes. I'm not really quite too sure why. Because, um, to be honest with you, it's not really a whole lot you can do. So, they shouldn't be, like, that stingy. You know what I mean? They're, I mean, I don't know. Inverse logic, I guess you can say. But whatever. It is what it is. Uh, let me do this quest one more time. And um, I'm going to go back to the corrupt wizard. And then we'll keep it going. All right, guys. So, literally, we are almost there. We literally need five, um, four, excuse me, more stat points. So... Here's what I'm doing. I'm just gonna go and take on the level 175 quest instead of just paying, you know, some more Robux to respawn all bosses and do a rotation again. Uh, that way we can be where we need to be so that, you know, once we get to level 200, we can do the level 200 boss. And at that point, if we want to continue with the grind of respawning bosses with Robux, then we can do that because we're filthy rich, right? <clears throat> Not really. I'm, I'm broke. <laughs> <laughs> oh man okay so finally guys here we go bada boop bada beep baby and then you know for good measures let's put the rest of in mana baby all right so we finally have maxed out our magic here um well our weapon uh stuff so again uh my imperial barrage is my z key my x key oh wait let me charge up some more mana uh, but it's called the imperial storm and it looks like that you just like have a barrage of stuff all around you and now hopefully we'll have enough for imperial region so oh there it is we actually just use this so what the hell is imperial region does that give you back health ain't no way man ain't no way i did all this grinding for a freaking ability to just heal me heal me back up when i when i when i need it 
<laughs> I'd rather just die. Just let me die and regen my health to full that way. Let's check this out, right? Go ahead, bro. Hit me, bro. All right, bro. All right, bro. All right, bro. Take it easy, man. Imperial regen. Brother. <laughs> Yo, oh, my God, bro. What a letdown. What a freaking letdown. It's, it's actually a regen ability. You passively regenerate your HP. So it's not something that will literally give you like a... Oh, I'm dead. But yeah, like I was saying, it's not something that's going to give you like a chunk of HP back and you'll get your health, you know? It's literally, again, a move that'll passively regenerate your health. Um, I don't like it. I'm, I'm going to keep it a sack with you. I really liked all the other abilities that we had on uh, our Imperial Sword, but this one... I can't really say I'm a big fan of Chief. I'm not gonna lie to you, cousin. All right, let's go ahead and use our. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Yo, that ability is so dope, man. Now the only issue is that we aggro the boss somehow, some way, but it's fine, I guess. And uh, yeah, beautiful. And now everybody's gonna die. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right dope so now that we got that done we're level 200 we're gonna take on the boss and after we fight the boss with our maxed out imperial sword baby can you believe that these three abilities is gonna run you oh it's 900 robux now brother this thing was 7.99 yo they really raised the price on y'all man that's crazy couldn't be me boy could not be me but yeah y'all let me know in the comment section below do you think this sword is worth it yes it does do more damage in, in the beginning of the game um later on it's kind of like i mean technically you still do more damage than having a regular sword and whatnot but i don't know i don't know man 900 bow books man i don't know chief all right well let's go up here defeat this boss we're gonna get a whopping eighty thousand xp because you know my double xp so that's that's actually nutty um we should be getting around like three or four levels which is nice okay let's go ahead and use my x key and i hit i think i hit everybody but the boss bro <laughs> what the heck <laughs> oh man oh look you can finesse the boss behind that little fencing area i think i might do that then oh well actually he doesn't okay well he she i don't know what gender the boss is but doesn't really do too much uh i mean doesn't take that much damage or either should i say come here baby girl or baby baby man let me, let me show you a, a, a thing or two <laughs> whoops ewees cuz and there you go we got four levels and we got his drop brother i am lucky brother okay so the hmm. so this is a common this is 30 percent but it's a basic sword made out of silver so my imperial sword is a legendary sword by comparison right but let's see what abilities oh man you can only have one sword on at a time but let's see what abilities we have with this so we have sword cut which is wow level 200 boss for you guys <laughs> prime time gaming right here my goodness gracious okay well let's go ahead and reset our stat points now right it only cost 25 bow books to do this and there you go and now we're gonna check out our max magic. So we need 500 magic. Um, so let's do that, right? Let's put 500 here. Go right into magic. There you go. And um, we have 116 stat points left over. So let's do 100 into mana. Um, and then 60 into the defense. Now, honestly, why the heck? Okay. Why is our, our short sword, uh, sword, excuse me, floating in the air? So I don't know if you use this magic, right? Is your M1 gonna stack with your sword, a uh, sword stat, excuse me, or is it gonna stack? Yes, yeah, stacks with your your magic stat. Actually, that's pretty cool. So as you guys can see, we do 390 damage compared to the the 530 damage I think we were doing with um with our imperial sword. So there is a difference, right? 395, 30. But is it worth 900 robots? Okay, you guys, let me know. That's what I want to know. All right, or are you better off just using magics in this game? Let's find out, right? So we're going to see what our max black, dark, amazing purple energy magic thing is like. Okay, so ah, dark cut. It's my Ziki. All right. Then we have our XE, which is dark slash. Okay, nice. Let's see how much health they have. Oh, they have like about, okay, that's not bad. It's about 25% health. All right. So then we have a dark tip. I mean, dark TP, <laughs> which allows you to teleport. And then my ultimate ability. The most venomous ability, the Dark Ultimus. Uh, uh. <clears throat> okay, well, what I meant to say is I was just trying to show you guys, you know, the cutscene and everything. Like, 
I'll show you the ultimate right now. Hold on. <laughs> Alright, you guys might have fooled me once. But you won't fool me twice. Alright. Brother, so <laughs> I did all that, but it still wasn't a one-shot kill, which is actually kind of nuts to me, to be honest. But I'll tell you what. Off the strength that you don't need um, as many stat points and it doesn't consume as much mana as the Imperial Sword, I would say maining magic in this game is better than the pay to win sword uh, that you can buy from, from the shop. Because, I mean, look how easy it is to kill these guys, right? So, anyhow, with that being said and done, right? Um, right behind the quest giver in this area is actually the magic tower. So, let's go check out what other rarity types of magics they have, which, by the way, I have some insider news for you guys to share, right? And I'm not going to spoil everything because I, I don't know, you know, what I can and cannot tell you guys. But there is an update coming out this weekend. Maybe this was already announced in the in the Discord. Can you imagine? <laughs> I'm telling you guys this insider news. But all right, listen. One of the owners, uh, head devs of the game, uh, hit me up, right? He's like, update one is coming on Saturday, right? It's a lot of stuff. And some of these are, are things that you guys expect. So I'm not even going to mention it. Like, typically, what do you guys would see added into a game like Black Clover? If it's based on magic, what, what, what do you see? Yeah, you already know what, what, what's, what's happening. I'm not going to spoil it, but you already know, right? I'm hinting at it. So, but this is the cool news is that they're going to add in some new systems into the game. Um, and I'm not going to tell you specifically what, but this is going to make progression not seem as, as I hate to use the word linear because I hate, I, I, people are, are mad annoying with that word nowadays, but um, it's not going to seem like just typical bandit beating. It's, it's going to have like a different type of, of progression to it now um with these new systems so just be on the lookout for that it's pretty cool but here we go so epic is i mean dark is an epic which is a four percent chance wind is the the one percent chance and then the rarest one is anti-magic so how much are 100 spins <laughs> yeah um i ain't gonna lie to you bro <laughs> to be honest, I was going to ask you guys, like, if you wanted to see another video on this game and I could try to go for wind or anti magic. But at this rate, I'm not spending that amount of Bobux. Like, the devs going to have to hook me up with suspense. Okay. And if the devs hook me up with suspense, we might do one more video mañana, tomorrow, for those of you that don't know Spanish. And uh, that'll be my last video um, before the, the update comes out. And then maybe we'll come back on the update if you guys want to see it. But let me know what you guys think um, about the maxed out uh dark magic in this game and the imperial sword do you guys I, I mean i'm gonna ask again do you guys really think the imperial sword is worth now 900 robux i don't know you guys let me know but um who the hell is this guy hello adventurer do you wish to learn how to sense other people's mana uh okay you gotta do a minigame what the hell oh damn so we gotta click the circles i i didn't even know what the hell? Okay. I didn't know this was a thing. When the heck did they add this into the game? I never saw this NPC here, but it's cool how they have like some of these NPCs um, just out and about. Because <laughs> in the last video, we learned how to fly. We learned how to... Nice. But yeah, we learned how to fly. We learned how to do this, which is like jump a whole bunch for some reason. I mean, like you, you definitely want that. And for some reason, jumping a whole bunch was worth more than flying. What? <laughs> Bro, a flying costs 2,000 yen and the jumps cost 10,000. It didn't make any sense, but let me press all my keys so I can see what the heck they mean by sensing. Oh, it's the L key. Whoa. Oh, that's pretty cool. And they have some music playing too. So yeah, if you press the L key, you can sense people's mana, which I would assume would if, if I was in a pub lobby. You know what? Let's, let's go test that out in a pub lobby. Hold on. What the hell? Yo, this guy's moving around real sus. He's not even on a broom. He's just like... What the hell? Is that man hacking? That man's not even on a broom. He's just like flying around. All right, you know what? Uh, press the L key. Oh, it's just dark. <laughs> How come it didn't show me uh, this guy's mana? No, 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 there he is. There he is, right? <sighs> what the hell? Brother, you could see their mana. What the hell? Oh, you could see their mana. But it's like weird. Like, I, I thought you would be getting like an indicator from a distance and whatnot. Okay, anyway, look, guys, drop a like on the video if you happen to enjoy this one. I'm going to wrap this up here. Uh, subscribe if you're new one last time. Let me know about everything that I asked you guys in this video. Please and thank you in the comments below. And I will catch you guys later on another one. Much love.